Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? So I have a new palette that um, arrived right on time. And yeah, what the kind of palette it is, it's the kind of palette that would arrive right on time. Had this palette really intimidated me. It's going to be thought of as more traditional palette. And that isn't what I gravitate toward. My whole coloring just doesn't work well with traditional neutral browns. Um, I don't like the looks that I get with it. And I've gotten comments on my channel that, you know, we think that you look really good in colorful makeup. And um, I tend to agree. So we're going to go ahead. We've tried, I've tried this out. We're going to see how it worked out. And uh, let's go ahead and start with uh, what I have on as far as my primer. I do have the Glow Oil by Supergoop on as far as my primer here. I did go ahead and grab the uh, House Labs. And this is the Faircool 50 shade. So that's what I have on for my foundation, and the LYS Triple Fix is what I have on uh, for my concealer today. Bronzer, I went ahead and used a glowish bronzer, and that one is in Tan Light 03. And I always, I really do love when brands do minis because a lot of the time, especially for me, especially for bronzers, until I actually get it on my face, I can't tell. And I have tried, I've really tried to be scientific about it. And if I get it with this, if it looks like this, or if it has this undertone, and that doesn't work for me. So I have on this, and then I went ahead and added in Magic Hour. Um, and then it's an e.l.f. Halo Glow blush as far as what I went ahead and used there. As far as my highlighter today, I went ahead and did the Master Chrome highlighter. And this is the one in Molten Peach. If you see it, definitely pick it up. It's really good. And uh, onto the palette that did go ahead and intimidate me quite a lot. And I knew it when I was ordering it. I knew that I would be sitting here going, I really don't work with that that much. You know, I it's just not something that my look sort of lends itself to. So um, it's a ColourPop 1111 palette. And first of all, ColourPop for taking the chance and going ahead and doing a palette with this theme. Go you. I This is a theme that I think a lot of companies really would shy away from. And so, like I said, it arrived to me at exactly the right time, which is what you hope that an um, angel will do for you. So anyway, if you think about angels, and I understand that a lot of people don't, so it's fine. But anyway, um, this is a beautiful palette. Uh, there are rumors that it is inspired by the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude palette. And as you can see right there, you sort of have me jumping off, off that bus. Because if it's a nude, I'm probably, it's going to be brown. And if it's brown, I'm going to have to work really hard to get a look that I'm comfortable with. So, um... It's, for me, a very challenging palette. Um, after working with it, this is the ColourPop formula that is so beautiful and so amazing. It is the formula that I always come back to. And when I come back to it, I'm like, why did I leave? Why was I over there? So thank you. And yes, it's a challenge for me. And um, I have a couple of thoughts, but we, why don't we go through what I did with it first. So uh, this is going to be on the crease there. And um, let's see. This one is what I have on the inner corner. What I did was I went from the inner corner all the way up here. Now I used this shade, which is a beautiful silver, and I did it from the inner corner up to about here. 
with this beautiful absolutely gorgeous pink shade I went from right here to about right there and then with this very intimidating for me color a dark brown with gold in it I went ahead and put that on my brow bone uh, this one I went ahead and did under the eye as an eyeliner and um, this is my first impression this is I like I said me being intimidated and just trying and here it is okay so really pretty palette taking a chance and having a payoff can't beat that um, I have done a series on my channel for years of going ahead and doing complimentary palettes because I mean even with a 12 pound eyeshadow palette which is what this one is you can still want to do looks with it but not have the all the colors you need so um, the ColourPop Pretty Please palette yeah this is what I would suggest as a companion palette for that one and it's not just because the uh, pan shapes are the same size it's not just because I think it's the same formula and it is an absolutely gorgeous formula it's because these two balance each other out so if you want to do a look that doesn't tend to go nude brown but you want to have brown in it or you have a look that you want to do that's mainly purple but you want to darken it up with some brown then these two palettes go really really well together um, <clears throat> they 